Hi, I'm Adro from Profit From Property. In this video, I'd like to tackle a common question we hear from many home seekers. Should I buy a smaller home now with my current budget or save to be able to purchase a bigger home in the future? Let me share with you one of our client's journey. In 2020, we had a young couple with a budget of 1.2 million for their property. The problem is that they have always wanted at least a 3-bedroom home in District 15 which would have cost them at least 1.9 million on average then. They sought our advice on what to do and were thinking of trying to save up more to afford to buy their choice home. Our recommendation was for them to invest the 1.2 million in a property first. At least get a foothold in the market and build up their capital for their first property. Here's what happened. They went with our suggestion and bought a 2-bedroom unit at Park Estar at 1.235 million. By 2023, we helped sell it for $1.52 million, netting them a profit of $285,000 in only about 3 years, translating to an annualized return of almost 7%. With the $285,000 profit, plus their initial down payment of $308,000, they now have a total of almost $600,000 funds available for their down payment of their next new home purchase. If they do decide to use all of their available funds for their next home purchase, they can look to down pay a property that's worth up to $2.4 million, excluding stamp duty and with an eligible 75% loan-to-value ratio. Here's what would have happened if they chose to wait out their purchase and try to save up more funds to afford the home they initially wanted. They will need to save an addition of at least $200,000 just to be able to afford the property they want at $1.9 million. The key question here is, is it easy to save $200,000? and how long do we need to be able to do so? If we're looking at a 3 years time frame, that's putting about almost $6,000 of savings aside every month. With the high cost of living, that's definitely not easy to do. Fast forward to 2023, we see that prices for 3 bedroom units in District 15 has increased by 19%. And what was 1.9 million in 2020 is now about 2.25 million in 2024. If they were just relying on trying to save for the home they wanted, they would have been priced out of the market altogether at the rate the property market has increased. Let's look at some numbers to give you an idea how the market panned out. In 2014, units in Coco Palms located in Pasiris were selling at an average of $900 to $1,000 per square foot. Fast forward to 2019, properties like Treasure at Tempanese were selling at $1,002 to $1,003 per square foot and that's a 30% increase. As a first-time home buyer, if you bought into Coco Palms back in 2014, even leveraging to purchase a smaller unit as a stepping stone, by 2018, the homeowners could have sold their units for a decent return. Though Treasure at Tempanis is priced 30% higher, with the profit made from Coco Pumps and down payment on hand, home buyers that sold their Coco Pumps unit can easily upgrade and afford a larger unit this time round at Treasure at Tempanis in 2019 due to the capital and profits earned from selling off their unit at Coco Pumps. Fast forward today, here are the profits homeowners made from Treasure at Tempanis. Buying in 2019 and selling to date, one owner even made almost a million dollars in profit over a span of three years. In 2021, just a stone's throw away from Coco Pumps, Pasiris 8 development launched and is now at an average price of almost $2,000 per square foot, doubled that of Coco Pumps in 2014. What does this mean for home buyers and investors who are looking to buy a property today? Let's rewind back to our client who purchased Park Estar in year 2020. Currently in 2024, they have now reinvested their first property's profits and capital from a two-bedroom condo unit to purchase a brand new three-bedroom condo unit in Lenthorn valued at 2.2 million. Most importantly, our client used their first property as a stepping stone and now are able to have choices based on a higher budget and hedge against inflation. With proper and thorough planning, entering the property market earlier can help you avoid being priced out you can leverage and recycle your capital and profit gains to climb the property ladder faster as well. We also stress the importance of always doing your homework on the properties you buy and plan your finances prudently to ensure you don't over leverage and to always have a good safety net. For personalized property recommendations, do reach out to us. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.